The first U.S. spacecraft to land on the moon in half a century lost power on Thursday as it entered the frigid lunar night, going dormant a week after making a lopsided touchdown. It was that landing that hindered the Odysseus spacecraft's operations and scientific output. The Texas-based company that NASA paid $118 million to build and fly said it had received a final farewell message from the spacecraft before it went dark. The company hopes it won't be goodbye for long. Intuitive said Odysseus would be programmed to phone home if and when it receives enough solar power to reawaken. The next sunrise over its landing site isn't for three weeks. And liftoff. The six-legged lander launched on February 15th from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. But as it made its six-day journey, it did so carrying a problem. Flight readiness teams had neglected to manually unlock a safety switch, preventing later activation of the spacecraft's laser-guided rangefinders. Flight engineers hurriedly improvised an alternative, likely preventing a crash landing, but it may have also contributed to the vehicle's lopsided touchdown. We're evaluating uh, how we can refine that signal. NASA and Intuitive's commercial participants were able to communicate with their instruments, but failed to get all the data they wanted. Still, the mission is being hailed as a win. And uh, welcome to the moon. With Intuitive touting its proprietary propulsion system as a success, it was also the first under NASA's Artemis program, which aims to see more commercial robot landers act as scouts before returning astronauts to the moon later in the decade. Intuitive, whose shares during the mission nearly tripled at one point before plummeting in wild swings, has two other moon landers slated for launch this year.